This video will walk you through how to send an encrypted email for privacy using the RPOST RMail services. We'll follow three simple steps. Step one is to add the address or addresses into the field. Next, add the subject. If you'd like, you can tag this document with a very specific reference code which will be placed in the registered receipt email, which is your proof of delivery, content, and time, and your proof of compliance. Step two is to upload the file or files you'd like to send. And you may upload as many files as you'd like. And once those files are uploaded, you may begin step three, which is to add a message. The last step is to add a password required by the recipient to open and view the message. You have two choices. The first choice is to add a password yourself. Another option is to use a system generated random password by simply checking the box you see here. And when you're done, you press the button Send Encrypted. The message will now leave the ARPO Secure website and go encrypted all the way to the receiver's inbox. The recipient will get an email right in their inbox and they have a choice to either open the message with the password that was given to them by you, the sender, or if they have a randomly decrypted password, an email can be sent ahead of time or there are some other choices available. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the link here to retrieve my password. And the ARPO system will automatically send me what the password is, so I may open the message. I may also at this point decide to permanently create my own password for future encrypted messages by clicking on the link you see here. This way, the next time I receive an encrypted message from a sender using the ARPO services, I will know the password because it'll be one that I created. If we go back to the encrypted email, to open the message, you simply open up the AES encrypted PDF, insert the password, and press OK. The email opens up right in the receiver's inbox. There's no need for the receiver to click on links, go to websites, subscribe to any services, download software, or go through any hoops or hurdles. And they may view the message body inside the PDF, and any and all attachments are located in the attachment area, where the recipient may simply right-click and either open attachment or save the attachment on their desktop if they'd like. The receiver also has the ability to reply securely. They simply click on the Secure Reply button. Their web browser opens up to a secure web page where they may reply securely. This concludes a short encryption video. If you have any questions, please contact rpost at support at rpost.com.